My dear brothers and sisters, St. Francis Xavier, a Spanish priest and a very, very close friend of Ignatius of Loyola, was sent as a Jesuit to the mission stations. And he worked in India for 10 years before moving on to the Indies and to Japan, where he worked zealously, where he proclaimed the good news of Jesus and he brought thousands to the faith. I believe this same missionary zeal must be in each one of us. If we are disciples of the Lord, each of us has a responsibility and a duty to hand over the faith to others and to bring people of other faith to the faith. We don't do this by forced conversion, but there are simple things that we can do to bring people to our faith. The very words that we speak, can they be like Jesus, gentle, not harsh, being kind to people, being compassionate? Can we be forgiving like our dog, in spite of people perhaps hurting us, rather than being revengeful? Can we reach out to the poor and the less fortunate, seeing in each of them the person of Christ that should motivate us to really touch their hearts and to bring healing into their lives? There is so much that we can do, my dear brothers and sisters, because we too are called to be missionaries. We may not be invited to leave our own country and go to a foreign land, but we can do so much here in our country itself. Even though there will be opposition to the gospel, opposition to the work that we do, and the church will be persecuted, and these are the warnings that Jesus gives in today's gospel, the missionary work must continue. Remember the words of Jesus just before returning back to his Father, when he told his disciples, I will be with you always until the end of time. And therefore we don't work on our own, but we work in partnership with the Lord. It is His work, it needs to be done, and I pray that each one of us may courageous, courageously and zealously indeed continue that mission which Jesus Himself began. God bless and do have a Jesus-filled day.